Unlike most, chainsaw carver Russ Kubara finds peace in a lot of noise. It's like I can't stop. It's euphoric. Uh, it's very um, relaxing. Uh, the saw, the motor, the vibration, I'm not sure what it is. And all carvers experience the same thing. For eight years, Kubara has been one of Manitoba's hardest working chainsaw carvers. Today, the Beaux Azure resident is taking pumpkin carving to the next level. First, the first strike cuts that we make give us the basic shape of the object, sets the proportions. Well, I retired 12 years ago and I had thought, you know, in my travels, you see chainsaw carvers alongside of the highways, you know, carving, selling bears. It's something that I wanted to do, and I had a chainsaw, and I cut firewood, but then I'd look at a block of wood and say, well, how do I start? Where do I start? He soon found a carving camp and received training. Now he's the one helping teach camps around the province and taking in apprentices. Russ's carvings take anywhere from minutes to hours to finish. It is an activity gaining notoriety, and the final products are seen more frequently. Because they're big, because they're wood, because they're natural, they, uh, and, and because they're done with power. <laughs> when we are carving, people love to watch us carve because of the power and the noise, and, and it's just different. And then we get down to detailing with the smaller saw. This is called a dime tip carving bar. It's got a very small nose. He teaches Special two camps a year and is part of organizing one of the first ever chainsaw carving competitions in Manitoba this season. I just like creating. I have this need to create. Uh, I like teaching the chainsaw carving. I have this need to tell. I like um, interacting with carvers. And you can see it when I'm teaching somebody for the first time and they're carving. And you can see it in their face. All of a sudden they get this look, this, this look of pleasure. And, and, and once you experience that, you're hooked. There we have a, a finished pumpkin ready to sell. For Shot TV's Go, I'm Kevin Hirschfield. Oh!